if you are a big nasty corporation wrecking the environment and just running corrupt business practices you don't have to worry about any government interference with what you're doing but if you're just a small-time business owner be prepared to be taxed to death kind of like this magician who the Obama administration has required that he submit a 32 page disaster plan for his rabbit a small-time magician from Missouri that does magic shows for kids was absolutely horrified when he learned that the Obama administration is requiring him to submit a disaster plan for the rabbit that he uses in his shows. The U.S. Department of Agriculture requires the rabbit to be licensed, which is weird enough, but where things enter the truly bizarre is a new USDA rule seven years in the making. Marty must have a rabbit disaster plan in place by July 29, 2013 in case of calamity such as flooding, earthquake, landslide, mudslide, avalanche, wildfire, or an intentional attack, just to name a few examples. My country is broke, Mr. Hahn says. We are out of money, and now the government is spending time and money worrying about an emergency plan for a bunny rabbit. So the U.S. is planning to send weapons to Syria in a war they know is going to end in a stalemate. It's going to cost taxpayers up to a billion dollars per month. Actually, that reminds me of today's daily quote. It says, rich man's war, poor man's blood. And that was by Anonymous. So they're going to start a war with Syria, and they are going to pay for it by taxing magicians. That's right, because we don't even have any money. We just print it out of thin air. We pull rabbits out of hats, and we just print money that doesn't exist. And then we have our mainstream media minions performing sleight of hand to distract you from what's really going on. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.